Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre Rare, and today we continue Long Island Week because we're making the Duck Dynasty size tea. Have you ever wondered what's in that tea that makes Sai so weird and just eccentric? It might be a little extra spike to his tea. It might not just be tea. It might have some vodka, some gin, some rum. It's potent. Something that's making him a little bit goofy. This might not make it as goofy, but if you drink enough of it, it probably will because it's going to make it drunk. But this is actually going to be a bit of a southern style to it. Using orange pico tea, which I brewed ahead of time. You want to make sure it's chilled because you don't want to put hot tea in there, melt all your ice, and just kind of make it look like crap. But this is going to be the basis of a Long Island recipe. Shake and strain. Let's show you how it's made. First thing, obviously, put ice in your glass. You want to take half ounce of your vodka. Take a half ounce triple sec. New bottle, ran out of my old stuff. Half ounce of rum. And a half ounce of gin. And a half ounce of SoCo, Southern Comfort. SoCo, whatever you want to call it. It's Southern Comfort. I haven't used this in a while. I even forgot what it tastes like. That's how long it's been since I used Southern Comfort. Oh, I'm going to find out. A lot of sweetness, surprisingly. Got a little wit whiskey in there. A lot of fruit flavor too, surprisingly. Not something I usually drink that much because I'm not the biggest fan of it. But next thing you want to do is take two ounces of your sour mix. Yeah, that Soko is like still in my mouth. Wow, that's potent. What better thing to wash it down with? But more booze. Well, it's a sour. Give it a good shake. Hopefully this time I can get the thing off. Because it gets stuck every time. Oh, it came right off. It's a miracle. Yeah, then you want to take that and pour that into your glass. Then you want to top that with orange pico tea. Give it a little bit of a stir. Then you can sit there, you can garnish this with some lemons, some oranges, whatever you want to add it for flavor. And make it like a regular tea. But there you have it. The Duck Dynasty size tea. This is probably what he's been drinking all the time. It makes him a little goofy. Let's see how it tastes. It's really not bad. It's mild. You definitely get that that authentic tea flavor to it since obviously using real tea 
So it's not like a standard Long Island where it's just made to taste like tea. It's actually tea. But you get a lot of the citrus flavors in there. The Southern Comfort does stand out a little bit. You can definitely taste it. A little bit of sweetness, kind of a slight whiskey flavor to it. And the gin and all that, you can still kind of taste. So it tastes like a Long Island, but it's kind of mellow in comparison to the others. It has a lot of the aspects you get in there. But it's different because it has the tea and everything else. I'm not sure if there's any recipes for Long Island that call for Southern Comfort. But it does offer a different take on it. A lot of different flavors. Just by adding that in there. But this is actually a really good cocktail. This is actually a cocktail I made way back on my site. Before I even had I even think about making the videos. YouTube uh, page. I actually had it years ago. Pretty much when I first started the site. So it's a very classic cocktail from my point of view. From what I actually created. But it's a very good cocktail. And it stayed true to today it's really good to try out you should definitely try it out and i hope you like this definitely a twist on a different long island iced tea a little bit of side a little bit of craziness to it but it's a good drink but as always like us on facebook kind of spirit cocktails subscribe to our channel like us on instagram subscribe to our twitter all our venues check out our patreon site donate what you can help us out but as always drink responsibly